uh, so we are in Photoshop we're gonna choose a4 sheets then here we are not going to print this out so we choose RGB alright so I'll grab my pen tool and then create a shape alright so I'll choose the convert point to then adjust the lines alright so for the color I'll use gradient so I'll choose gradient from that and then the direction I'll choose 4 then choose the colors that I want then I'll drag this point to the right okay so I'll adjust that okay so I'll grab the pen tool then create a new layer below this shape and then create a random shape just to cover the space below right then choose black as the color all right then i'll drag in this image increase the size to fill the whole canvas then i'll change the blend mode to luminosity then i'll clip this image into the bottom shape decrease the opacity and i'll go ahead and change the color of the background shape i'll make it a little bit lighter all right so i'll add some type so i'll type something then change the font all right I'll increase the size then duplicate it below then change the type now add another type here I'll go ahead and change the color okay so the next thing is I'll grab the ellipse tool then I'll duplicate it three times then change the color of each ellipse so that I will be able to differentiate them so I'll adjust the sizes and the positions alright so I'll bring this first image then clip it into the shape alright And I'll select the other shape and bring in this image too but I won't clip this one into the shape I'll just leave it like that and place it on top then duplicate the same image then I'll bring this one in here as for this one I'll clip it into the shape then I'll select all the four shapes I should have done that in the first place but I forgot so I'll select all the ellipse shapes and then add strokes Alright, so I'll click the ellipse shape and then double click on the layer and then add a drop shadow. So I'll select this ellipse layer, hold alt and then drag it to the next ellipse layer then it will copy this effect into that shape. So I'll double click the shape the particular shape I want and adjust the direction of the shadow so I'll do this for the rest of the shapes alright so I'll come to the bottom and then create a new layer and then drag in this image to make it the hero image then resize and position alright so I'll create small ellipse right here 
bring it to the top change the background color and then duplicate it two times all right so i'll align them and then i'll add strokes to these shapes all right so i'll select the first one and drag in this image and then clip it to the shape and resize to fill all right so i'll do this for the rest of the ellipse Alright, so I will add some types, the food name, and some random text, just like this. I will select the type tool and drag over space, and then choose font size. Then I just it like this. And after adjusting, I'll duplicate two times. All right. So I'll grab my rectangle to create a rectangle here, change the color, and then create another rectangle. Then I'll go ahead and change the background color. Then I'll change the border radius of the top right. Then I'll double click the empty space of the layer, then add a drop shadow, then change the direction. Then after that, I'll add the necessary information on top. Alright, so I have a QR code text right here. So I'll just type any letter and then change the font to that QR code font that I have. Alright, then I'll add another text beside it. Then I'll go to the symbols, then select this symbol and place it right here. Resize it, then change the background to red. Then I'll grab the ellipse to create an ellipse, deactivate the fill, choose white for the stroke. I will align it with the shape, then from there I will add the discount on it. So I'll go back to the shapes and then grab this shape. I will change the color and rotate and place it here. And once again, I have this logo font. So I'll just type any letter and choose the font or choose the logo that I want. So right here, I'll type R and change the font type to that logo type font. So I'll select this first ellipse and add a drop shadow. Then I'll, from there, I'll duplicate the effect to the other ellipse. So I'll paste this text right here. And after that, I'll bring in this leaf, send it to the back, then add a blur. 
go to filter blur caution blur then add the blur amount then i'll duplicate it two more times then add more blurs to the new ones then from there i'll grab the pen tool then create an arc just like that i will deactivate the fill add strokes and change the stroke type to dots adjust that so i'll create another one I know it's not a perfect arc, but you can take your time and do it well. Now I'll go ahead and create a small ellipse, deactivate the stroke, change the background color to red, and add the prizes on top. Alright, so after this, you can go ahead and deactivate the image that I use as the background and it will still look nice. Alright, so I will create a new layout on top, change the blend mode to linear dodge add and try to add some glow in the discount. Then after this, you can recolor this artwork. So with that, I will take off the background, then change the black to white, just like this. Then I will change the text to red and bring back the leaves as green and change the font to black and it looks nice then after this you can also change it to green so i'll select all the reds and change them to green and then change every red to green all right and it still looks nice So that's it guys if you like this video subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment and i'm out peace